Hi, I'm Malcolm Beveridge. I'm Director of Aquaculture and Genetic Improvement for Worldfish. Um, two weeks ago, we um, had a, a tremendous trip to Uganda to try and put flesh in the bones of the aquaculture value chain in the country and to see if our potential partners there were happy for us to come in and share the same vision and to hear from them about what they thought were the key issues in aquaculture development in the country. Uganda is um, a poor country. It's a country which depends upon fish as one of the major parts of its uh, meat diet. Um, the aquaculture value chain, uh, as we discovered in our visits uh, to farms, to um, hatcheries and in talking to people, is constrained at various different, in various different places. Um, first, in order to grow fish, a farmer needs quality seed, that is healthy uh, fry and fingerlings of the size he or she needs exactly when they need them and of good breed quality, that is that they grow fast and respond well when feeds are provided. Um, when the farmer has produced his or her fish, they then have to get to market in uh, as good a shape as possible, fresh, uh, frozen, smoked or dried, these are the normal uh, uh, products that uh, Ugandan customers want, but often the production sites are very, very far away from where the consumers are. And again, although we can produce fish, and Ugandans can produce fish, it doesn't always get to markets, and the producers don't always get the best price, and there are issues that we have to overcome. So we talked to a whole range of people. We talked to private sector, we talked to the farmers uh, especially, but we talked to feed producers, we talked to um, processors, and we talked to government, and we talked to a very interesting new group of people that's emerged in, in Uganda in recent years, technical services providers. These are privatized part of what used to be part of the government service and they told us about their issues and their problems and we've tried to listen to them and reflect this in the value chain that we've put uh, we're putting together and going to put forward to the uh, consortium board to um, as part of the MP 3.7 process. What do you think is the challenge for a, a research organization to get involved in this kind of value chain development? Oh, this is a big change. It's a big shift for us because it's not all about technologies. I mean, one of the things that we want to do, um, having had our discussions with our stakeholders in Uganda and then again here in Addis, is to see, um, look at the potential for genetically improved uh, strains for farmers to use. Now, this is partly a technological issue, uh, how do you choose your uh, breeding population, how do you manage them uh, in order to get the uh, improvements in growth and other traits that you might be looking for. But much of it is, uh, to, sorry, to make it successful, much of it also depends on having the right partnerships, government and the private sector understanding what they need to do, we as CG scientists needing to understand what we need to do, and all of us aligning our interests and efforts together to try to ensure that things work. It's no longer uh, acceptable, it's no longer, well, it just doesn't work to produce a technology and drop it into a country expecting that it will work.